For this video, we're going to be discussing solving literal equations. So you might be asking yourself, what is a literal equation? A literal equation is just an equation that shows the relationship between two or more variables. So for example, I've got this equation here, 3x plus 4y equals 9. This is a literal equation because I've got two variables and we're showing the relationship that exists. Now, um, in previous math classes, you probably talked about a lot of formulas. For example, this is the formula for the area of a triangle. Sorry, that shouldn't say length times width over 2. That should say base times height over 2. This right here is the formula for the Pythagorean theorem. a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Formulas are just a type of literal equation. And you can use these literal equations to solve for one variable when you know the others. This down here, 8mn plus 7q equals 55, that's just another literal equation. So when we're solving a literal equation, we solve them like we would any other equation. We solve them by working backwards through the order of operations. The trick is that we're going to treat any variables that we are not solving for as constants. All right, so let's look at an example. So here we have example one. Solve for z in the equation 3x plus 2z minus 9 equals 5y. So we want to first identify that we are solving for z. So at the end of this process, I want to have z equals something. All right, we're not sure exactly what it is. But these other two variables, or the others, these other two terms with variables in them, we're just going to treat like constants. We're not going to try and get rid of their coefficient. We'll leave those there. We're not going to try and figure out what x equals. We are not going to try and figure out what y equals. We're just going to treat them like constants and just leave them in the equation. All right. So for to solve this, what we're going to do is we are just going to follow the order of operations backwards like we would with any other multi-step equation. So we should start by checking to see if there's any distributive property for us to do. We look through, we see there is not, so we don't have to worry about that. Our next step is to combine like terms on either side. Well, on this side, I have 3x plus 2z minus 9 equals 5, or equals minus 9. None of those are like terms, and over here I just have 5y, which is by itself. Our next step would be to get all of the variables that we are solving for, in this case all of the z's, onto one side. Well, they already are, so we don't have to do any work for that either. So our first step we really have to do to solve this is to undo any adding and subtracting. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to undo any all of the adding and subtracting in one step. This is a positive 3x, so to get rid of it, I'm going to subtract 3x. So they cancel. If I subtract 3x here, I must also subtract 3x on this side. All right. Then I want to get rid of this minus 9, and I do that by adding 9 to both sides. So on the left, I'm left with just 2z. And on the right, I now have 5y minus 3x plus 9. All right, and I'm not quite done yet, because right now I have two z's, and I really just want to have one. So to get rid of that, I want to divide both sides by 2. All right, these cancel, and I get z, which is what I want by itself. Now I have to look at these three terms, 5y, negative 3x, and positive 9, and ask myself, can I divide any of these by 2? Well, 5 divided by 2 doesn't work out to an integer. Negative 3 divided by 2 doesn't work out to an integer. 9 divided by 2 doesn't work out to an integer. So in fact, the way it's written right now, 5y minus 3x plus 9, all divided by 2, that is the answer. That is as simple as it can get, and we've solved for z. So we took our equation here, and we figured out what it was with z by itself. So that's how we solve a literal equation. Treat the other variables as constants, and just solve like you would any other equation. All right, so here's example two. Solve for f in the equation 9 times f minus 32 
divided by 5 equals C. So go ahead and pause the video, try this one, and then watch me work it out. All right, now that you've tried this problem, let's go ahead and work our way through it. So looking at this, this is actually the formula for turning a temperature in degrees Fahrenheit into a temperature in degrees Celsius. So what we want to do is we want to convert this so that we could go the other way. We want to know what is F equal. So let's try and figure out how we could do this. So we could multiply out our 9 to start. But I actually want to rewrite this. This is 9 times F minus 32 over 5. Well, I can write that as 9 fifths times F minus 32 equals C. Now these mean the exact same thing. All right? So if I look at this, instead of multiplying out this 9 fifths times f, this 9 fifths times 32, what I can do is I could just get rid of this 9 fifths. So in case you don't remember, to get rid of a fraction like this, we want to multiply by its reciprocal, which in this case would be, in this case, would be 5 ninths. Because if we think about this, 5 ninths, times 9 fifths, 5 times 9 is 45, 9 times 5 is 45, 45 divided by 45 is 1, so they cancel each other out. 5's cancel 5's, 9 cancel 9's. So, to get rid of this 9 fifths, we're just going to multiply by 5 ninths. So I also have to do that, times 5 ninths, on the right side. So these cancel, I'm left with F minus 32, on this side equals 5 ninths times C. And now if I want to get F by itself, all I have to do is add 32 to both sides. These cancel. I'm left with F equals. And on the right side, I've got 5 ninths C plus 2. I can't do any more simplifying, so this is my answer. I've solved for f. All right, so I'm going to now leave you with a try it problem. It says solve for t in the equation t equals p or times 1 plus rt. That's a little confusing. Let me rewrite that. It says solve for t given the equation i sorry, equals p times 1 plus rt. I don't know why it was written the other way. So, the equation is i equals p times 1 plus rt, and you need to solve for t.